Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going through a new palette that I received from Wholesale Ninjas. So as I'm sure you could tell already, this palette looks different than the last palette that I have unboxed from Wholesale Ninjas on my channel. The last palette was a case-packed palette of Target merchandise. This one is a bulk Target palette. The pricing is a little bit different. The quantity is going to be different and the kind of conditions that I'm receiving are also probably going to be different. This is the first time I've gotten a palette like this from Wholesale Ninjas. And so I wanted to unbox it with you guys and show you the different kinds of merchandise that you might be able to expect with a Target bulk palette from Wholesale Ninjas. Now, one notable difference between this palette and the last palette that I received as you can see here that this is still in palette form. It's because palettes like this do not qualify for the palette breakdown service that Wholesale Ninjas offers. If you are unfamiliar with what the palette breakdown service is, Wholesale Ninjas does offer a service on certain palettes, not all of them, but certain palettes, they will actually break down the palette and ship it to you in smaller, more manageable boxes for a flat $180 fee. However, the palettes like this, because all of the goods on them are bulk, rather than master case or high count that usually involves smaller items in boxes. Because this is a bulkier style palette, it did not qualify, so I did have to have it shipped freight versus the smaller independent boxes. So now the cost per palette does sometimes fluctuate on their site. I think that right now the target bulk palettes are $580 a piece plus the cost of freight shipping. So I'm really anxious to see what is in this palette, so I am just gonna get started. So I did also wanna note that this is completely unmanifested. Um, none of these Target bulk palettes are manifested. I just wanted to make sure to point that out. So it's kind of like a giant mystery box palette. I have no idea what I'm getting here. Okay, here we go. Gibson 16 piece square do set in taupe. Not exactly sure. Let's see here. Oh, it is heavy though. Okay. So it's a box within a box. I think it might be dishes. Let's see. And it is. Oh, look how pretty these are. <gasps> look at this dinnerware set. Look at these plates. It's stoneware. Those are so. Ooh, and yep, brand new, brand new condition. That was the original uh, box that it came in. Right here on top. This is a two-tier wardrobe. So it's one of those, it's like a standalone closet. It has a metal frame with two shelves and a breathable cover. Box looks in really good shape. Doesn't look like it was opened. This is a brass, a brass finish tabletop lamp. This appears to be case packed, but we have to open it so we can see what it looks like. Don't you dare judge my Crocs. I know you're over there judging my Crocs. All right, so hesitant to cut any of this tape. Okay, so I don't want to open it too much. Okay, we kind of have an idea here. It's like a, it's an oversized brass, kind of a, like a table lamp. See it there? It's really big and I'm really scared to take it out of the styrofoam, so I'm not going to. We're just gonna slide this nicely back inside the box. I think this is another lamp. I'm afraid to open it too much. Is this the original box? Yep, so, okay. This is another lamp. This is another lamp of some kind. I kinda don't wanna take it out completely just because I don't wanna not, you know, be able to put it back in. So we're just gonna gingerly slide this back in here and we're just gonna be like, it's okay. We're just, we don't wanna make you dirty. There are some markings on the side of the box, so I'm sure I can use those markings to look up uh, all of the features, or I'm just gonna have to take it all completely out of the box so that I can see exactly what kind of lamp it is. Project 62, ooh, a Nyman resin side table. Okay, so this is completely, this is all completely sealed, and since it's a side table, I definitely don't wanna open it up. 
So let me Google it so that I can get a picture for you guys. Ooh, nice. Well, they're selling for 50 bucks on eBay. This is what it looks like. Resin side table, Nyman resin side table by Project 62. And it is steel, steel. It is still completely sealed. Uh, something multicolored. Oh, are these? Oh, they're pillows. So looks like there are three, three of these couch pillows. They're all still in their original packaging, which you always like to see, especially when it's in its own little box because the box fits them perfectly. Is this a, ho it's a Halloween costume. Ha! <laughs> and an, a kid's inflatable rocket ship Halloween costume. Halloween's right around the corner. Whatever it is, the color is black and there's two in here. Ooh, oh, those are pretty. They're decorative. They look like decorative bed or couch pillows. And oh, they're black with this. I wonder, it doesn't really, the camera's not picking up on it very well, but it's like this gold shimmery foil pattern see the the grid oh but you can't really it's like a shimmery copper gold these are pretty and these are big pillows see how big these are these are big decorative pillows these are nice and they're still in their packaging so they are nice and pretty okay this is a big box what does this say this says berkeley square outdoor patio propane fire table what? Okay, not gonna, not gonna lie. I really want to keep this. Holy cow. Okay, this is really heavy though. Shoot, why do I have to be weak? Oh man. Yeah, this is really heavy. Okay, um, crap. Oh, shh, Nikes. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, okay, well, we're all gonna watch Lindy struggle. It's okay, it's okay, it's part of the business. This is what happens. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm a little afraid. All right, we're gonna use leverage. Physics, this is why there's physics in schools. Right here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm really surprised I was able to do that. That was heavy coming down. But it's like one of those, you know, when like moms can lift cars off of children, it was like one of those because I thought to myself, if this thing drops on my foot, I'm gonna break my foot. And I don't wanna break my foot, but it's really heavy. But it is completely sealed, so I don't wanna open it. So I'm going to look it up and show you guys a picture. No, no, no way. This is a $350 table. No way, really? See, it says 30 inch square, item 0260. Yep, I think, I think this is it. $350 fire table. Wow, knowing how much it's worth, I kind of wanna sell it, but kinda wanna keep it. <laughs> I kinda wanna keep it. Scoop! All right, back to it. Whoa. So this is Toy Story 4. There's, it's like a, a Buzz Lightyear Star Command Center. Look at that. So you can sit in it like a little ship. You have a stand desk. And then you have a lights and sounds table. That's so cool. It looks like it's still brand new. It might have been open before. So we might go ahead and open it just to make sure that all the pieces are there because I'm not 100% certain that it hasn't been returned before or something, but cool. So this is oh, a pillow fort, Perry molded activity chair. So it's a set of two chairs. I kinda don't wanna open it. So I'm gonna do that thing because it looks like it's never been opened before. So if it's never been opened before and it's two chairs, I don't, I don't want to get them dirty and I don't want to 
risk taking them out of the box if they've never been out before. Okay, so it looks like this is what it is. It's just two standard seated chairs, it looks like. Um, but they are, I believe that they are kid size, but I won't know unless I, oh, here's a UPC. Maybe I'll just look that up. Yeah, some say kids, some say adults. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more. But little, two little chairs. It's a Black & Decker Junior Ready to Build Workbench. Looks completely unopened. Awesome, just in time for Q4. Okay, this appears to be an unmarked box. I think, are these trash cans? They are, they're, and look at, oh, look at the color. Oh my goodness, look at this color. I love, this is like my color right now. Have you, have you guys noticed my kitchen? Have you noticed my kitchen? I might have to keep one of these for my kitchen, except they're not very big. But look at that, they're little waste, ba little waste baskets. There looks like there's four in here because there's four lids. So there's multiples in here. Oh, I love this color for real. Oh, it says it right on the front of the box. I must have just, you know, not flipped the box over. They're little medium lockable step on waste baskets. Oh, I love this color. This like turquoisey blue teal is like my color right now. I love it. All right, here's a threshold two cube organizer. So, ooh, and it's like a gray finish. Ooh. Yeah, these cube organizers, people freaking love these, including myself. Kind of goes with my bedding set, not gonna lie. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Okay, what is this? Ooh, this is another heavy thing. Um, decorative home, display only, team lift. <laughs> It says team lift. I'm a one person team. All right, so let's look this up because I don't, I, there's no, it's something, it's something that has to be put together for sure. So there's no way I'm gonna open this up and be able to tell what it is if it's not put together. So let's just look it up. So according to this, according to this number on the front of the box, this is what it is. So it's on target. Retails for $130. It's a three shelf bookcase. Nice. Yep, still completely, completely in its original box. Looks like it's never been opened and it is very heavy. So again, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to let physics help me out here and just slide it very carefully. Yee! Okay, we got it. We good. We good. We got it. It's gonna kind of pivot. Walk it over here. We're going to have to pivot and slide. Pivot and slide. All right, what else we got? We're about halfway through, it looks like. Now we have another. This is a threshold console table, solid wood tray top, durable metal frame. All right, we're gonna look this up. Again, because it's a table, I can't just like open it up. We have to look up what it is. Ooh. Okay, so there's a few different, I think this is the one. Okay, so this is what it is. Apparently this style has got a few different tables. There's, there's a side table, there's a coffee table, and there's a console table. This is what the console table is. So they all range from like 100 to $140 each on target.com. But this is what it looks like. It's a really simple metal frame, and then it has like a, a wood top, and it's very, very heavy. Very heavy. It's definitely not flimsy, which is why it sells for over $100. But, oh, this is nice. You know, we just moved into a new house. Could use some new furniture. Just don't tell my husband. And no, I'm not as bad as he is about keeping stuff. I swear. It's pretty furniture. It's pretty. Get out of here. Come on. Uh. 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 Oh, wait. <laughs> and just cut it. 
Look at me doing things the hard way. Here is a side table, a Granada side table. Is it the same? Is it the same as that one? No, this one was a Bennington. What's the, is it Gretna? Does this one go with it? Is it a matching set? Oh no, wood legs. This thing sells for a hundred bucks on Target. So here's what it is, hundred bucks side table. Brand new in the box. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I keep dancing around this, so I'll just pick it up. It is a Hoover Wind Tunnel 2 vacuum cleaner. It's a whole house rewind. Let's see, what does this one retail for? Because some, some vacuum cleaners are worth a lot of money, and then some are just really cheap, and I'm not sure about this one. So let's we're gonna use the eBay app and we're gonna scan the barcode. Oops, let's try that again. Shut your face. So this one is ranging on eBay from about 150 to $200. And I think that it's never, oh wait, I was gonna say, I think it's never been opened, but the back, see, the back has been ripped open, but it is clear that the factory packaging is still wrapped around it. It's hard to say if it's been pulled out because um, the box has definitely been opened, but it looks like it's never been used. I'm gonna have to get some more of these pallets. All right, what's this one? Let's see. What is this? What is this? No idea. Let's see if this, let's see if this barcode brings up anything because I don't see any writing on the box. Okay, I don't see any writing on the box. The barcode doesn't get me anywhere. I'm kind of worried to take it out. I'm trying to see if there's like a, a piece of paper or something in here. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna Google a little bit here because I don't wanna pull it out. I'm gonna Google this target PO number. I'm gonna type in target because here, if this works, then this will be a handy tip for anybody. So here, there is a PO number, and it's pretty safe to assume everything on this palette came from Target. So what I'm typing in is Target PO, and then I'm gonna type in that number, and we'll see what it gives me. It didn't get me anywhere. All right, I'm gonna try this DPCI number. Okay, none of that was helpful. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna have to pull it out. I'm gonna have to pull it out because I can't tell what it is. So here we go. Hopefully I can get it back in. Okay, well that didn't help much. <laughs> it's squishy. Ooh, here's, here's a tag with a barcode. Here we go. Here we go, there's a tag with a barcode. We're gonna scan it. It's, it's called a crash pad. C-R-A-S-H, crash pad. Sensory friendly crash pad. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna, now that we know what it is, I'm pulling up the listing. So now let's put this back in the box before something bad happens to it. All right, we're good. We good. So this is what it is. Retails for $49.99. Lots of, lots of good ratings. Apparently it's sold out. A uh, great way for your kiddos to release excess energy. Ripstop fabric material. Oh, a cushion spot to get out their excess energy or relax. So it's like a, it's like a lazy mat kind of thing. It's a sensory lazy mat. Cause yeah, it's like really super firm. Ooh, nice, okay and it's already in its own box. Okay, this thing is really big here. Uh, okay, so this big one here, I wanna look at this big one here first because I'm extra curious. It says that it's a chair of some kind. So we're gonna look it up. I'm just gonna scan the barcode using the eBay app. Okay, so it didn't come up, so it didn't come up on eBay, so we're just gonna Google, we're gonna Google the UPC number. Okay, that, the UPC number didn't come up, so now I'm gonna Google the name of it. Project 
62, Soriano. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty chair. Oh, that's pretty. It retails for $330. This is what the chair looks like. That's what the chair looks like. Yep, $330. It's still brand, it's brand new in the box. So what color is it? It's Okay, I don't, I don't know. Oh, here, here we go. Classic velvet smoke. Is that what color this is? Well, this one looks, this one is blue. So this, this target listing, it's like a blue. I'm not sure. This one says classic velvet smoke. I don't know if this, I mean, this looks blue. The other one was gray. I'm assuming that the gray would be the velvet smoke, but retail is $330 at Target. It's brand brand new in the box. Okay, now this box here, there is a something right here that says, do not cut me. So it says don't cut. And it looks like it's case packed still. So I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna keep doing the you Googling and we'll figure out what it is. What the heck? It's another chair. It's delight blush. Why, it, why is it gotta be everything I wanna keep? I want to like keep all of this stuff. This is the chair, $170 chair, and it's pink, which means it would go perfectly in my office. Wow, wow. That's all I could say is wow. This palette makes me very, very happy. All right, there's one more thing. There's one more box. This one is a lot more lightweight. So let's see, right, let's take a peek, see what it is. It's luggage. Oh my goodness. This some snazzy luggage. Oh, that's pretty. It's a hard shell. It's like zebra. It's a 28 inch spinner hard case suitcase. This is like a, it's not, it's not like a brown. It's like a burgundy. It's like a brownish burgundy. Oh, this is nice. What does it retail for? Gotta look up. What does it retail for? Okay. It retails, it retails for right about uh, $59, $60. I can't find this exact, I can't find this exact one, but it looks like, mm, I wish I could find the exact one because prices are all over the place. Some are like $59, $60, and then some go up to like $130. Wow! Put this right back here in the box. That's that's all of it. I is all of it over here. I put some over there. There's the that's I I don't even know what to say. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and videos like it, please do give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like content like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I am currently working on a brand new coupon code for you guys for Wholesale Ninjas. If I have it by the time this video is released, I will put it right down here in the video. I'll also put it down in the video description. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys with my next video. Bye-bye.